no comedian had ever gotten three encores in one show. The tall and charismatic comedian pushed the envelope and the crowds in Royal Oak kept coming back. The audience just ate him up every single night, every single show. Mark Ridley knew Bob Saget before the fame and the pair remained close. I would be at home and then all of a sudden just get a phone call and he wasn't even scheduled. It's just to say, hi, how you doing? Happy holidays. How are the kids? He was just an I mean, literally the friendliest guy you could ever meet. Hundreds, if not thousands of comedians have walked through the doors here at Mark Ridley's Comedy Castle in Royal Oak. Bob Saget stood out for obvious reasons and tributes have been pouring in for the legendary comic. Everybody's just really broken up because it seems like Bob had met or influenced literally every single comedian in the business. Like Norman, Norman Lear, you know, an institution in Hollywood posting a photo today and saying what a, a, a true friend Bob was to him. And I reached out to Dave Coulier last night. He texted this morning. And he's just at a loss for words. He's heartbroken. No buttered bread and definitely no buttered Brad. And at the same time, he hosted a show that made videos viral before we even knew the term. Every week, the country tuned in to laugh together with Bob. I would defy anyone to find something bad to say about Bob Saget. I mean, because fame never went to his head. Mark last saw Bob five years ago after he performed at the Royal Oak Theater. Memories that will last a lifetime. Even if you're grieving, just wear a big smile because that's what he would want. Uh, and, and that's what his, his, if you look at his last post on Twitter, he did a two hour show the other night. And that was Bob. You just couldn't get him off stage. He loved performing. He loved making people happy. Just remember that. In Royal Oak, I'm Priya Mann, Local 4.